Okay, let's go to the setting and then we create the item. For example, cheeseburger and double cheeseburger. If today my cheeseburger, I have 59 and then currently I stock in 20. So I click in here, I stock in 20. I can click the remark. For example, your invoice number and then adjust. So up here, you can see the date, the before, the movement and after. Now it's 79 and it's hidden by admin, done and save. So if you sell the cheeseburger for 3, for example, So after I hold bill, it will deduct. Same goes to here. All the number you can see, 30242 is the stock number. If negative 11 means you oversold already in your stock. Okay, what if maybe in within the 76, I got five burger uh, has spoiled already. So go to the home, setting, item, go back to the item, click inventory, you stock out five. For spoil, for example, and you adjust so you can see the details. Okay, as you can see, from the second after is seventy nine, right? And then after that becomes seventy six. So where is the three? So we click in, it will show. Oh, you sell out three because of sales and by who and the receipt number. Okay, let's say you want to record the stock for your item. For example, now I got cheeseburger and double patty cheeseburger. And then you first you need to create for the stock first, the bread and then the patty. Because when you sell one cheeseburger, you will consume one bread and one patty. So you go to the item, the inventory you must turn off. And then go to the recipe, you search for patty. And then you click it. From the quantity means that when you sell one cheeseburger, the patty will consume one. And then I search for the bread. Same goes to here. Done and then save. So it's linked already. And then I link for the double patty cheeseburger. I turn off first and then go to the recipe. I type patty. Now I turn it into two. And then for the bread also. Okay, let's see for the stock. So go to the event, the category. As you can see, the bread is fifty four and the patty is thirty. If I sell one cheeseburger, I hold bill. So you can see the stock is reduced already. And then if I order one double patty cheeseburger, I hold bill again. You will need, for the stock of the patty will reduce by two and then bread will reduce by one. Okay, let's say there's another situation. For example, I sell a one beer is 10 ringgit. If I sell four beer, only 35 ringgit. How I link the beer times four with the beer times one. So I set for the stock first. So now currently I have 44. And from here, the beer, the beer go to the recipe. I search for beer. Link it to the, what we call the mother or the stock, lah, the original. From here, I click the four, which means that when I sell beer, with 4 and then it will consume 4 okay let's testing so when order as you can see now the bill if I sell 1 it will reduce by 1 if I sell 4 it will reduce by 4 okay another situation let's say I sell the shampoo but it's based on how many liter so I go to unit of measurement select it by liter and set and I turn on sell by weight which means that I sell it 30 ringgit per liter so let's and then in the inventory I key in for example currently I have 20 liter make sure the track inventory is turned on for example if today this is one people they want to buy from me 3 liter of the shampoo I hope you then you deduct the stock that's all for today thank you